Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. Upper left hand corner, we have Jayun starting as the white Protoss, which looks bluish because of the beta art. Bottom right hand corner, we have Raz, who's going to be the yellow Protoss, who also again looks blue because of the beta art. This is going to be on Largo, which is uh, Largo 1.4, which is a map from the new ladder pool. Congratulations on everybody for getting the uh, new ladder pool. This is from August 28th, so I'm wondering if they downloaded this map from another corner of the internet before this was released to the uh, general grouping. But anyway, natural expansion down a ramp, although it's kind of a odd angling for the natural expansion, kind of pocket corner. You can see Mutalisk for, I guess, when Zerg is in play. Mutalisks can harass very easily over this wall. So, but uh, a sealable front door, a nearby third that is a mineral only, but you clearly need map control to take this because I think this might count as high ground. This is all high ground dumping into this third, a third base with gas at the, I guess, the cardinal directions at 3 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 6 o'clock, uh, 9 o'clock location otherwise. But yeah, this third just seems like so hard to, to hold, especially with high ground walking into this. So I'm wondering how Protoss are going to handle that. And just a big middle open of the map where it just feels like there can be all sorts of... Well, part of it is this big open middle of the map, so maybe there, there can be some uh, flanking action overall. But anyway... We'll see what the meta looks like as this game progresses. Should be a... I'm hoping it ends up being one of those fun, interesting matches. But it just feels like that mineral only is just brutal uh, to deal with. And just a lot of open space in the middle. So potential lot of proxy action could happen on this map as well. Assimilator up, gateway warping in. Same thing on opposite corners. Looks like it is basically a mirror match as things stand. And I'm wondering how familiar these guys are with this map as well. Jayun scouting the upper left hand corner. For a moment, I think this probe had an option to kind of see one another and push things across. I think Jayun now knows, usually when you see a probe do this sort of thing, you know that first of all, that you're at similar builders, but secondarily, that your opponent, <laughs> where your opponent is actually located. Cybernetic score, no zealot being produced from either player, which is, I think, kind of the standard thing on four player maps. And Raz's scout going to be a little bit later, but nothing nothing too crazy. Between these two guys in PvP, I don't know who to favor. Honestly, it's kind of odd. I've seen Gypsy... Gypsy. I've seen Jayun play a ton of Protoss versus Zerg, a ton of Protoss versus Terran, but for whatever reason, I haven't seen him do a lot of PvP. And so I don't know what his PvP chops are like. His scout wandering into the base is going to go ahead and see that as... Uh, that 7 x core warping in. First Dragoon being produced. And Raz, looks like he took a little bit of damage. Right now, things are dead even from both players. But knowing, here's the thing, knowing Jayun though, his ability to micromanage is just superb. He has fantastic micromanagement skills and just incredibly high APM. So I'm wondering if his, in particular, like the small unit micro, and most PvP, what it can turn into, looks like, is this a manor pylon? It's hard to tell without, let me do a quick color swap. Uh, color swap doesn't work. Yeah, banner pylon in that corner. It's hard to tell actually with the yellow. I wish you could do a color swap on this one because the yellow and the white look close enough where it's really hard to tell. But it looks like Raz trying to drop a manor pylon. I don't think he's going to get a lot out of this because this doesn't do like a... I mean, it's like a partial blockade. There are some probes that are having some... Wow, actually, this is doing a lot more than I thought it was because these two probes are freaking out in the back corner. And as they were freaking out in that back corner, Raz getting... Able to drop, I, I would be able to tell if it was a little bit better color differentiation, but actually able to trap two probes in that back corner, and that's going to give him a big lead. So drop the pylon here, that forced two back here, and then he's able to drop this manor pylon to the top. So he expends a little bit of resources, but also does a lot of harassment, gets some additional scouting information, and I think ends up economically ahead out of all of that. He does have 21 probes, about even the probe count overall, but you can just see as far as like the flat economy is looking uh, decently ahead. Jayun has opened with a two-gate robo. Looks like we have one gate into expansion comparatively from Raz. Uh, two Dragoons are moving forward trying to kill, get revenge on that probe. Damn you, probe, for all of your shenanigans in my base. It's going to explode midfield. Second probe uh, that was hiding in that three o'clock location. Looks like it might try to swing back around and maybe get a spot at the natural. There are three Dragoons right there, so I don't know that it's going to be able to push in and scout anything. Second gateway down for Raz. So another question is, does Jayun opt for robo expand uh, or robo observatory if he goes for the robo or if he goes for expand observatory 
off the robotics facility. He's going to, so there's the Nexus. He's still going to end up economically behind because Raz's expansion, you can see over halfway, over halfway finished and actually a lot of Dragoons moving forward. Plus all that economic damage um, from those manor pylons a little bit earlier. And it looks like he is going to go support Bay. So he does have an opportunity to do some economic catch up. He's trying to get that shuttle. I think that's a wise decision considering everything that's happened. A single probe moving out. I'm wondering if he's going to drop pylons out here um, to go ahead and provide forward scouting information. It looks like a pylon on the front getting a little bit of harassment from Jayun. He's being he's outnumbered and also at a closer reinforcement point. The probe just going to hover there. So there is a pylon. So nothing proxy tech, but kind of an interesting play. Uh, Jayun moving around going to go ahead and kill that probe. And that's going to keep Raz in the dark, which is going to help with this potential shuttle harass. Speed being upgraded. Worker count actually somehow, this is just a bit of macro advantage to Jayun. Jayun actually somehow, despite only having one Nexus compared to two, Raz is behind in the overall probe uh, battle. Maybe because he paused to get a third gateway down. So he's sitting at three gateway, is building a lot of Dragoons, but he's had two bases for a much longer period of time. Honestly, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get on Raz a little bit about this one. He should have had I don't think he was pausing to, to do any sort of production thing in the mid game. He should be well ahead of Jayun in the overall pro count. Getting a little bit sloppy there. Anyway, Reaver being produced, shuttle speed. Uh, I'm wondering if it's going to scoop up or if it's going to wait for double Reaver uh, with this harassment. Nevertheless, Raz still should have an overall economic lead because he's had this natural expansion up for a much longer period of time. He certainly is doing a good job uh, keeping a, a sizable Dragoon force out on the front door. You can just kind of look at the comparable amount of Dragoons as far as what's fielded. So it's going to be one Dragoon, one Reaver for Jayun. And now Raz mm, might end up in a bit of trouble because he's moving out with his Dragoons now and might even, actually might even be able to bust Jayun on the front. Let's see if the shuttle gets caught. Jayun might want to bring the shuttle back to provide some defense. He's going to have a, another Reaver out there, but I don't know that it's going to be in position to deal with what Raz is fielding. But comparatively, Raz... He's got these three gateways producing Dragoons. This is going to be difficult to defend against just this shuttle, especially with speed where it can just drop off the Dragoon right here at the natural and then press up into the main. So there's going to be action both directions. So here's the initial Dragoons peeling in. This is only three Dragoons and a Reaver on defense, which is plenty to kind of press straight through. But this is the Reaver drop on that natural expansion. So Raz needs to get something done right there. A bit of a dud. So let's see who can out macro who. Micro who. It looks like Raz, mostly focusing here, was able to take out that Reaver right there. Jayun pulling off the probes on that line. It looks like the Reaver dropping on top of the gateways. This Reaver having trouble getting these shots off, however, comparatively. But the Dragoons, there's just overwhelming amounts of Dragoons at this natural, which is going to maybe even be able to take out this Nexus. And I don't know that Raz even needs to micro those. But in the meantime, Raz is down to 21 probes. It looks like this Reaver was able to get a significant amount of damage done. So actually, somehow Jayun five probes up. Still looking for defense right there. It's going to be able to wipe out that natural expansion. More probes dying. It looks like they were still trying to mine at this natural. And Raz should be able to win this. He's got twice the supply. Should be able to walk right into this with the rest of the Dragoons he has. And start depowering pylons with what he has. If he can just go ahead and take down this robotics facility, should be a game winner. And actually attack probes? It looks like the probes actually maybe ended up as part of an attack maneuver. This Reaver going to come back. So maybe this Reaver can save Jayun, but he's still well behind in the overall supply. Just down to 10 probes overall. This should be a GG, barring an absolute miracle with this Reaver. Some Dragoon, Dragoons plopping right down, trying to hit right there. Engaging actually is able to take that Dragoon down. And a probe getting a kill, love to see that. So the robotics facility still stands. That was never taken out. But Jayun's down to six probe count, six probes overall. Raz now remining at both of his bases. He's got four gateways. He can just actually continue to press this. It's impressive that Jayun is still alive. I'm gonna actually throw that out there, and able to take out, and somehow actually able to reseal. But he's still. This is mostly. He's way too far behind though for this to make a difference. He's still sitting at eight probes overall. Maybe if he gets some miracles done, with this Reaver, more. Dragoons starting to press forward, and this is going to be a, this is kind of a, a repeat of earlier in the match, where we have another grouping of dragoons making their way into the natural expansion, and again, a reaver unopposed walking into the main, and the natural of Raz. Raz actually trying to regroup back up, and actually with these delays, Jayun might be able to find a way back into this. X factor, I tell you. 
dropping right there. There is a single Dragoon to engage and more Dragoons plopping forward. The probes flee to that natural expansion. So at least getting some economic harassment. And this is... Oh, is that shuttle? I think that shuttle might be pinned in. Still trying to hunt down these probes. Oh, this could be a big shot. Does manage to get a large amount of probes killed there, but that does not even things up. Raz still at twice the amount of probes. There's only three Dragoons on the front still. I like that Raz is going ahead and sending out that probe to go uh, to make sure that the scouting info that basically Jane didn't sneak an additional expansion someplace out. But he's got an overwhelming amount of Dragoons now making their way to the front. A second Reaver is just now being produced. This is three gate versus four gate plus a larger economy. Raz would have to drop his keyboard, I think, to lose this match at this stage. I got to give hats off to Jayun for still trying to make a game of it, uh, regardless. And as long as, yeah, Raz micros this properly, which he should, yeah, Jayun going to go ahead and GG right there. So an interesting one back and forth, but Raz coming out with the win. And I think this just, uh, yeah. Not sure what to, to say of this match back and forth. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it regardless. And we, so on YouTube, you'll see game three coming up. Um, otherwise, by the way, check both these guys out. Jayun on Twitch TV, Raz at, I think it's Raz BW on Twitch TV. Raz doesn't stream, uh, he was streaming for a while pretty consistently, but uh, hasn't been for a bit. Regardless, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for listening.